Welcome back guys, thanks again for tuning in. In today's video, I'll be making a quick review about this guy right here. It's my favorite backpack and probably one of the best backpacks I've owned, both in photography and general purpose. Let's get started. Now there are two versions of these bags and the only difference is the size. There's the 30L and the 20L. I chose the 20L since I don't carry a lot of stuff with me. If I do, I'll, I'll carry it in my roller bag. Uh, this is also a Huckberry version, so you'll notice this is a black and has that little tan uh, pick design logo at the front. Now on top of this bag, this is where you put in your 13 inch up to 15 inch laptop. Now both sides are padded, which is really nice. And inside you can even put your documents and random stuff such as your phone for easy access. The sides are mainly used for accessories like batteries. Underneath there is a hidden strap that you can use to connect all right, to the points on the bag. And then this is where you attach other stuff or big items such as your jacket. Now both sides have stretchy pockets so you can carry your water bottle and also your tripod. In addition to that, you can use the strap to secure your tripod so it doesn't wobble. Now the bag also has a quick access feature. All right, so you just slide it in, unzip it, take out your camera and you're ready to shoot. Now the top compartment is expandable, okay, by using this mag latch, which is like a magnetic latch, uh, which also acts as a, uh, an anti-theft, you know, enough to confuse those pickpocketers. Um, you can adjust it from all these four latches, okay? And again, they're all magnetic, okay? And allows you to carry up to eight liters of additional capacity. Now, the main compartment is basically just empty space with Velcro straps in front and in rear part, so you can divide the space using the flex fold dividers, okay? So it's basically simple, um, you know, to install with uh, multiple configurations. It comes with three dividers, okay, with the uh, backpack and they are very versatile okay because it allows you to use them as a simple shelf and to use them as flaps separa uh, separators or to create a large pass-through for your lenses okay so it basically helps to separate the same time protect your lenses now this is my this is in my opinion the most significant feature of this backpack and one of the main reasons why I bought it okay so aside from that I do carry all these lenses with me uh, aside from my two mirrorless cameras. On the side, this is where I put all my extra batteries and also my memory cards and other cables and gears. One benefit of the Peak Design system is you can actually use those Peak Design clips to mount your camera so you can you know, take them out when you're ready to shoot. Another feature is the luggage pass-through so you can put it on top of your roller bags. Included in this configuration is the sternum straps which helps you balance and distribute the weight these are adjustable as well so you can use it as you see fit the bag also provides a theft different zip lock which helps secure the zippers so the waist belt are hidden through the side pockets if you need to use it you can just simply deploy it pull it and then just connect them together so for ergonomics i found it very comfortable with these rotatable uh, straps. Now these are not detachable, right? But you know, I can carry this with me for like hours and hours. Okay, so who's this for? If you want a multi-purpose everyday backpack that's discreet to carry your stuff or equipment, then this is a great choice. Also, if you like their modern design and you're considering one, you can't go wrong. I'd say for its premium price tag, it is worth it, considering its features and functionalities based on my four years experience of using this bag. Now, I honestly can't think of any feature that's missing. Okay, and if you want to find out more options and sizes, I'd recommend to browse the Pick Design selection on their website. I'll post a direct link on the uh, description below. All right, there you go. Thanks again for watching this video. Now, if you're considering to get one or doing a research, I hope you found this video helpful. Now, I'll provide links at the bottom so you can actually check and compare prices on different websites. Okay, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because that helps me to create more content in my channel, okay? I'll see you next time. Take care.